Hello, so welcome to Ramble Logs Part 2. Um, I was planning to do something else, but uh, things took a stupid turn. I was just <laughs> walking about uh, trying to get to where I was trying to go to start a Ramble Logs, but I just sort of fell through the floor. <laughs> And I'm not talking the, the floor was broken or something, I just straight up phased through it. And next moment I open my eyes, I'm just straight up surrounded by uh, big buildings. Like, But what's weird is that I look up and there's no sky, there's just a ceiling. So I'm surrounded by buildings, by like apartment buildings. And there's just no sky, there's just a, a tiled floor looking at the ceiling. And then I just sort of start feeling something heavy on my back. Uh, turns out to be like a huge bag. And it's like one of those wide bags that you like, carry to a bank robbery. I, I looked into it, there's like three guns in there. Actually no, there were four. There was one that was just I immediately recognized as a revolver. There was some rifle looking thing. I think it was a rifle. I was too scared to shoot it to see if it only shoots once. Because I. I something I don't like about guns, which deters me from uh, ever actually trying to um, mess with guns, is. Um. It's how loud they are, and that shit can cause proper hearing damage. And considering my ears, I don't want to. I won't want to deal with that. There was uh, another rifle that obviously looked like it could shoot like, <laughs> but and next to it was a straight up pump action shotgun. I I didn't see any ammo or anything in the bag. There was just the only only thing that I I thought it was ammo at first, but no, it, it was just a a bunch of I think explosive explosives tied together, and attached to them was like this um these numbers these keypad thing. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck do I need these for? Am I gonna kill the zombie? Am I in the Walking Dead or something? But then I start looking around more. I I see this box in the corner. It looks like one of those gener generator boxes, and I don't know what was going on through my head, but I just <laughs> I decided to just say fuck it. I I'm in here anyway. I'm gonna just smash a bunch of. I just pressed a bunch of the buttons randomly on the on the little keypad thing and just I just threw the thing next to the generator and I ran the other way. <laughs> I tried the doors, some doors that I saw, but both they were double doors. Bo both of them were locked though. I mean two pairs of double doors. And both of them were locked. And so I had to run to the side which was closer to the bomb, which scared the shit out of me because I, I don't know, I didn't know how much time I had, if if it was gonna go off. But then I saw an elevator and I was like, oh yes, that will surely protect me, considering it was like. I mean, the bomb didn't look that big. There was like two walls or like one huge wall that the elevator was behind and I figured I mean why not use the elevator I stepped inside and there was no buttons to press there was just like this blank slate of metal and some glowing sparkle things some glowing white, like, 
lights coming off of it. I I just touched it. The doors closed and I, I went up. Like a floor. And at that point I was about to go in one one uh, to my left, but then the bomb blew off and that that whole portion just went down. There was no uh, the lights didn't go out or anything, so yeah, I don't, I don't know what that box uh, filled with like circuits and that was making noise was. I mean, it looked like a regenerator, but whatever. So I just go the other way at this point, and I'm like, if there's any sort of monster in here, that they, they definitely heard it. Uh, I find this. I go down this hallway and it goes into a balcony. I look out and I see the buildings again, but I see like two people staring through one of the windows that weren't covered by curtains. I figure if I'm here, I might as well be stupid, so I grab one of the guns. And when I turned back, there were there was nobody to shoot at. But I shot anyway. The glass didn't break. I, I could see the bullet holes. And yes, it did hurt. Uh, fucking popping that thing off. Man, that hurt my ears. But yeah, the glass didn't break. And I was like, what kind of fucking hotel has bulletproof glass? But it... I, I looked around... Those things are not bulletproof. I, I don't know what they are. But they... I mean, they sort of are bulletproof. But they weren't made like the ones that I know. Like, don't bullet... Doesn't bulletproof glass have like that mesh thing on it? So... Yeah, I just go back into the hallway. I, I pace around back and forth, not knowing where to go. I just look about, look at my bag again to see if there's anything more in it. Nope, there's enough. Not not anything. Not. Uh, I see the people again the moment I get my gun out. Right, right before I shoot, they just vanish again. And I was like, fuck that. I got it extremely bored very quickly. I kept pacing back and forth, opening doors, and all I could see was just a king-size bed with extremely tiny pillows. Like, tiny pillows. And the table next to them. I kept opening doors for like a while. Like After seven doors, Finally something changed, and that the only thing that changed was just the beds were on the other side of the wall, now. Not on not other side of the wall, uh, they were on the other wall now, facing the other side. So I just get super bored, and I don't know what I was about to do, I, I felt like I was going to do something, but... Before I could, I just fell through <laughs> two floors. I just faced through all two floors, which hurt. And then I managed to get up, and I didn't just fall face through the thing again. And it took a while, actually. Like, it took like two minutes, two minutes straight of just void and then I end up in this weird basement like place and it sort of looks like a waiting room there there wasn't much on it there were these weird things that I have no idea what they were they were like bolted to the ground and it was like dark a dark base bolted to the ground and on top of it was a ridged cylinder and at the very top it's just like a little bowl upside down bowl I 
couldn't figure out what to do. I looked in my bag again. All my guns were gone. Gone. <laughs> uh, can't remember what the walls in. Uh, I think there were just like two knives, one pistol, a blowtorch, and a tiny axe. Uh, the waiting room didn't have much, it was just like a bunch of benches and some expired food on some of the tables next to them. There were a bunch of signs. I opened one door and I immediately got scared as shit. Like, I got scared by some sort of um, automatic lady voice. I was talking about a canteen or something and then I looked back into the room. I was about to enter, and yeah, it does seem it did it did seem like a sort of canteen, because there were tables with a bunch of expired food and just chairs, and there was some sort of board. I don't remember what I was talking about. I think it was just uh yeah no I can't remember what I was talking about but there was a note on the fridge. I tried opening the fridge, I, it just wouldn't budge. I tried uh, looking at the paper. It, it wasn't a paper. It, it was just straight up infused into the fridge. But it was talking about something... A person... Wanting cheese. And also, I think they... Somebody else lost it there. Or something. So then, they owe them cheese. I, I don't know what it was, <laughs> I don't know what it was on about. I, at that point, I get tired, I take a break, sit about for a while. And then I get back up, I look around more, there's this um, office place I get into. And it was just like a bunch of cabinets with uh, computers, chairs, uh, keyboards, and like mouse, yeah, stuff like that. They had names on them. I can't, I cannot remember clearly at all. Um, I think one of them was like Kellen. Helen Keeler or something, Michael Harris, something. I can't. I really can't. St I'm bad with names. But I just go about. The last cabinet did not have a name. Did not have a chair, keyboard, mouse. Only the computer. And the one next to it had a lamp uh, that was on. I tried grabbing it, but no, it was bolted to the table. And when I came back, I realized there was like a green glow from one of the cabinets that I didn't see before. And yeah, one of the computers was on. It was just glowing. But what's annoying is it looked like it had text type from a distance, but when I came close, it was just a jumbled mess of lines like green glowing lines and I don't know how it was glowing so hard because the whole cabinet was illuminated I tried messing with it but nothing happened I tried turning the other ones on but nothing happened uh, so I just left the place I think there was one more room, or two, that I went into. One of them was... I, they all had signs next to them, but I can't remember, apart from the office one, and canteen. But... I think one of them said something about archive, or like red lights, or like... Oh, yeah. 
one of there was like four poles or foundation pillars in the middle of the room the waiting room and one of them had like this billboard talking about if you see like an elongated figure uh do not leave do not call the police if you find a gun take it and uh, shoot yourself or something and at that point i was like okay <laughs> So I just keep going. I enter this room that looks like sort of laboratory. It had these big machines with cogs on them. Well, not cogs. Um, turning, you know, stuff that you toggles, toggles, yeah, toggles that you just turn. I I have no idea what they did, so I didn't mess with them. There were a bunch of computers, broken ones, a bunch of more boxes that were filled with circuits. There were smudged clipboards, books that I couldn't open. I think there was a computer as well, I couldn't, I couldn't start up either. And then I saw this door. When I opened it, I just heard clicking. Like so much clicking, like that kind of radioactive clicking thing that you hear when you go in a like, wasteland in a game and I was kind of I was I just listened to it for a moment and I was like, no, nah, I'm not going in there but I did see some signs on the inside before I just closed the door and went back out. Um, and it, <laughs> it was weird as fuck. They were talking about like um, some mold, mold. No, 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 not mold. Um, dirt. Earth, yeah, earth and like rock, dirt, something being impregnated by something. I did I did not know what the fuck it was on about, but I didn't like the clicking so I just went right out. Uh there were two elevators but I I just I couldn't I couldn't get them to come. There was uh a power room with like oh hot danger, high voltage. I opened the door because I didn't care. <laughs> there were two buttons, one that said off and one that said on. I pressed the off one a few times, nothing happened, nothing went out. So I just pressed the on one. I tried the elevators again, still didn't work. And at that point I was just... There was one last door, I opened it, and it was nothing but pitch black, just, I tried to like lean in, and like see if there's anything in there, but then I just get, st I, I get pulled right into it, and then I ended up back where I, where I never, never edged. I just end up back in my regular place. So I have no idea what the hell that was on about. I don't know if I went through like the backgrounds or something. But I certainly went through some liminal, liminal looking places. Which, yeah, it was, it was odd. It was weird. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Zero stars. Zero zero stars. I did not like going through there. Guns are heavy too. I hate... Damn. Like, they're really heavy. <laughs> <laughs>